back out again. Uh, we're probably gonna do some driving around today and do a lot of looking. Um, we were at a creek earlier this morning and we, we didn't even move a fish or see a fish. Uh, it was one of the bigger creeks in the area and uh, about maybe five inches of biz. So we, we're gonna bugger out of here and move on to the next spot and probably find some clearer water, but hopefully we can get one or two at the next spot. Uh, we'll see what happens. We've got about a 45 minute drive ahead of us. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching guys. Fish number one, guys. Oh, wow. This is a really hot fish. It's taking me way upstream. Got him a pink egg sack. Got a really late start this morning. We tried a, one of the biggest creeks in the area this morning. It was real muddy. Tried that for a few hours. But uh, no luck on that. We decided to move to a creek that would have some cleaner water and it's real clean but this fish is going nuts it's going on three minutes right now and I haven't even gotten a good look at it like, oh wow fire. big fish really big it's super slippery got six pound leader on so I gotta be kind of careful dad this thing's big like it's got me way way over there yeah I had missed one probably five drifts before yeah. and I just changed back to a pink egg sack and the, the whole float didn't even go under it just it looked like it was dragging on bottom and I set the hook and this thing flipped out. Gosh, I know. Huh. It ran way up under that tree. Wow. You got uh, six pound leader? Yeah. Oh, well, it's super slippery on this mud. Take your time. Wow, it's still taking line. It's 35 feet behind you. I'm gonna try to climb down there. Yep. Wow, this thing is big. Big, huh? It's either real big or it's just really, really hot. <laughs> why should be uh why should be like a why should be a carp? Look at the run, it's just taking yeah. off. Oh my god, look at it, it's way, way down there. Yeah. Take your time. Wow, it's still taking off. It's 75 feet behind you. Look at this. Oh my word. Guys, this is wow. one of the hardest fights I've had all year. Wow. 
This thing's either 15 pounds or it's super, super fresh. <laughs> We're going on three minutes right now, and I haven't even gotten a good look at it. Like, my arm's getting tired. I'm out of practice from salmon season. Ooh, I saw the boil. This thing is big. Oh, easy, easy. Thing is going nuts. It won't stop. It is going nuts. Oh, I just saw it flash. The, the whole float didn't even go under. It just it looked like it was dragging on bottom or set the hook and this thing flipped out. Gosh, it's way over there. I know. <laughs> it ran way up under that tree. Wow. Nice. Wow. This might make the day right here. We have been working for them. Oh, wow. It looks like a coho. It looks like the tail of a coho. It's weird how hard it's fighting. I mean, I know steelhead fight hard, but this thing is really... It's possible it got wrapped in the lock now. Right in the corner of the house. It's just row, row, it's a huge hen. Wow. All right, get that net ready. <laughs> oh, oh wow. wow. It looks like a coho. <laughs> it looks like the tail of a coho. Yeah, it's interesting. It's weird how hard it's fighting. I mean, I know steelhead fight hard, but this wow. thing. Take it really... real easy. I mean, it's possible it got wrapped in the lot. No, it's right in the corner of the mouth. Get the net. Yeah, it's, oh my oh. God, get the net. Whoa, that's big. That is a, and it's just gorgeous. I can't take another step. Oh, keep her All right, yep. Watch that is a really, really big fish. I literally can't take another step. Yep, we're good. Oh, man. Anywhere else we'd have had this girl. Right there. That's your chance. Wow. wow. Oh, Holy wow. crap, guy. <laughs> that is a giant. I think it's a male. Holy. I think it is. That's a huge male. That's yeah. like a 32 inch fish. Holy cow. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. It took five minutes to get that fish in. It's big. It's really, really nice. That made a little bit. I struggled this morning. I was telling them we were on the big creek this morning and it was, it was muddy. Guy had caught three and his, his egg sacs were way, way bigger than ours. We didn't come prepared. Well, that thing but. was hooked beautifully. It's, uh, oh, we're good. Wow. Uh, holy smokes. Oh, that fish has got to be 32, 34 inches long. It's, it's big. It's big. For an eerie fish, it's real big. Too. There's, no, those. there's no pen rub. Yeah, just a clean, gorgeous, gorgeous steelhead. I mean, wow. <laughs> nice fish. You gonna let it go? Are you videoing? Yeah. Beautiful, eerie steelhead. Probably around 32 or 34 inches long and all of 10 pounds. For an eerie fish, that's definitely a giant. That is the longest steelhead I've seen this year. That is something. Really, really pretty. Give you guys one more look. Check that out. Wow. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. Ready? Is he ready to go? I think so. All right. Make sure he's good and ready. Yeah, let him kick a few times. There we go. Wow. Right on. That was cool. Nice job, Kevin. Ha, <laughs> ha,
Alrighty guys, so just finished up a really, really tough day of fishing. We managed to get one absolute monstrous fish, which was a treat on the day. But um, other than that, it was just, it was real slow. Saw another guy on the creek and talked to him and it was slow for them. Uh, it's tough to say, it, it's probably something to do with yesterday. The temps got into the teens and now today it's in the mid 40s and it's just real, real windy and bright sun and clearish water where we were able to find some fishable water. Um, so it's kind of hard to say what's going on, but we're gonna give it another swing uh, tomorrow morning, it looks like. We're gonna head out to uh, Burt Dam and we'll see what happens. Uh, so stay tuned for that video and I and, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. So uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.